In this lesson, we will see how can we select a web element using its attribute and value with xpar. So let's say what we want to do is select all of the e tags, that is the titles with the title attribute, which we just did with CSS selectors. So to do this, we can use our e tag, that is this right here, and two slashes before it, that is any a tag inside of our document, that is a relative path. And to define the attribute, we will use box brackets, much like our CSS selectors. And inside of this, to define or select a attribute, we have to use the add symbol, which stands for any attribute. And that attribute name, which will be title in this case. So what we have done is created a XPath selector in which we have selected a, a tag with the title attribute. And that attribute name should be prefixed with a add symbol like this, which stands for a attribute. Now we can go ahead and just run our spider and then we will get the a tag or the a element back. Now let's say what we want to do is select the price instead. That is this right here. You can see that it is a paragraph element with the p tag name and the class as this price color. So if we want, we can also select that because it is a attribute. So we can select the p tag here and then the attribute as the class and the class should be equal to a certain value. So we can just use the equal sign and the value we want to match for that is price color like this. That is this right here. So now if we go ahead and run our spider, we will select a paragraph element with the title of class equals to price color. And that is right here. So that's how we select a web element based on its attribute and value.